Now, as we all know that every big institution or small institution have some histories, have struggles, and then they reach to a position. So, to share the uh, history of our school, we I'm going to call on the stage Jasmina Parvin, a student of class 10. A very pleasant evening to one and all present here. Here is Jasmine. I would firstly thank all of you for bringing your presence in this beautiful cultural night of Progressive School. And I'm very glad to have the presence of some very great personalities here in this school. Well, I don't consider Progressive School as being just a school. Rather, I would call it a result. A result of dedication, obsession, and hard work. I remember just three years back, this ground was an empty land. It was a barren land where there was nothing. But now, it's surprising to see how much it has developed. The hard work of all the management, the students, and the teachers finally gave us a destination like this. Being a student of Progressive School since its inception, I have personally witnessed all the struggles and sacrifices put in by all the management and the director of our school in establishing the school. We all know that initially Shah Jahan sir was a part of another school, but due to some internal problems between the management he had to leave and come here. All the students were completely broken. They cried, they clamored, they protested, and committed so many ferocious activities. Many of the teachers also left the school, just in the obsession of Shah Jahan sir. All this was intolerable for Shah Jahan sir. When he was sleeping in the middle of the night, he suddenly got the idea of establishing a new school. He immediately got up and wandered around the entire Badapur just in search of a suitable place for the establishment of a new school. Having no money in his hand and having very minimal support, he decided to construct a school and construct hostels for both boys and girls. And finally, the construction was completed within two months. But since the academic year had already begun, the students of class 10 were told to come and reside. It was very pitiful seeing those students, those students of class 10, sleeping at the same room where they used to study the whole day. Sleeping and studying without any fans, without lights, without any electrical connection, in such a hot climate. But they did not give up. And neither the teachers lose their expectations. And finally, they, all of the 20 students, passed the HSLC examination with colorful, colorful scores and marks where we have two state toppers in maths and advanced maths. Now this was the history of our past. Moving on to the present. I don't think that the students of Progressive School are deprived of any of the facilities. They are literally getting whatever they want. Despite having expert teachers from different fields available for 24 hours and the seven days in a week, the students are also provided opportunity to solve their problems and solve their doubts using various devices and gadgets like laptops, projectors, and many more. The students are also watching the animation of each and every science concept using projectors. And this is a great achievement for a newly formed school. Progressive School not only focuses on the bookish knowledge of the students, but also looks into various co-curricular activities. Progressive School had organized various events like the night sky gazing, blood donation camp, moral transition program, D 
de-addiction program and so many others, so other, so many other events just to boost the knowledge of the students. Moreover, the students also participated in many events organized by other organizations like the National Children's Science Congress, Aryabhatta Science Center, the Bharat Scouts and Guides, many inter-school drama competitions and art competitions organized at several places. In each of these events, the students of our school learned a lot of things and got a, a better platform for expressing themselves and for creating, for, for uh, taking out all the talents that they have in themselves. Moreover, the students of Progressive School were inspired and motivated by the visit of various great personalities, various uh, intellectuals like Sir Sandeepan Dhar, Advocate Diane Ahmed, we have Professor K. M. Baharul Islam, a profound professor of America, we have uh, Sir Abdul Munim Chaudhary, we have scientist. Uh, we have scientists Hibzur Rahman Siddiqui who have all visited our school and greatly inspired and motivated our students. And recently, just a few days ago, we witnessed two more great personalities. The international motivational speaker Sir Munawa Zama, along with the founder of political party AIUDF, we have Sir Badaruddin Ajmal who visited here and um, motivated all the students, inspired them. I do believe that one day the students of Progressive School will also prosper like them in their life. I would like to conclude here by saying that the progress of Progressive School is not yet over and it will be progressing till the end. Thank you.